size of the Western Reserve. I'd like to introduce to you today Tony Williams, who is our guest curator for this exhibition. The Ardent Thread is a passion. It is a lifelong quest. It is something that all of these nine artists represent. Uh, their enthusiasm, their zest for using fiber and pushing the boundaries of in, as to what fiber can do and what fiber is. Um, each of these artists um, express their passion, their life experience. I was asked to curate the show after being a part of the Seen and Unseen show. Um, I'm a fiber artist and I was approached during that show to see if I would be interested in curating a show. I'm Char Norman I met at the Morgan Conservatory. She was an artist that came in to display her work um, and she did an artist talk and I was really impressed by the work that she created. Um, Amy Lee is also someone that I met through the Morgan Conservatory and she is a paper artist and paper is just another form of fiber. It's just been beaten down to a different consistency, um, a finer consistency but it's still fiber, um, and that's important to me. Um, as a fiber artist, I also work in paper, and that is my preference of fiber to work Cynthia with. Cynthia Lockhart, a professor, a fashion designer, accessory designer, who has gone into the realm of fiber arts, who expresses her African heritage um, in her work. Her work is vibrant and ex very expressive. Interesting story, Cynthia and I go back to living in New York. She was a, an accessory designer and I was her assistant. Um, so we worked together for a number of years and remained friends and we have both been on this journey of uh, finding new directions and, and focus for our work uh, from being in the garment industry to showing on gallery walls. Jessica Pinsky's collection is based on the conception and delivery of her twins. For artists, I was looking for people that were really pushing the boundaries of what fiber could be. And I met Ron Shelton, and I had been following him on Facebook, and I saw his work that he was doing with students at the art, art house, and I was really intrigued by the hats and garments that he was creating. Phyllis Brody's um, approach to fiber um, and her collage work that she does uh, it, it represents the pure essence of stitch work and fiber and what we once called handiwork um, being elevated to another level. It's, it's beyond um, darning a sock. It, it is an art form itself and should be celebrated. And Weissman is another fiber artist who celebrates stitch. Um, her very delicate stitches, multi-layered, creating pattern and texture and, and color uh, just by overlapping these threads. It's just amazing. Um, Rebecca Cross, um, another artist that uses fiber in a sculptural fashion. Uh, she creates these wonderful, delicate pieces of work from silk and dyeing and using shibori techniques. Um, her work is intriguing. Mariah Johnson, another artist from the Seen and Unseen show. 
I chose her work because of her use of color, pattern, texture, her willingness to pour herself into her dolls, her quilts. Um, you can feel her essence in her work. It just exudes her personality. Has to do a fiber show. And I didn't think to spin it as an African-American show. I, I felt that it was important that I represent a variety of work that's being created that really express a new direction in what fiber can be. Um, so in the selection of that, I looked for some of the best, the best. Um, I was very selective in who I chose. I, I have a limited space and I really wanted to give everyone adequate space to express who they were. I was also interested in how they came to this craft, how they came to this art form. Um, and each tell a story um, that's uniquely their own, but there are similarities throughout each of their stories of how they learned this craft and where this craft came from. Was it passed down to them? Or is it something that just called them to explore? I am very interested in um, hearing people's stories. So one of the components of the show was an oral history. Um, so I sat down and we did a question interview session with each of the artists just to get a feel about who they were, where they're from, who taught them to sew. Um, is this a craft that you have always done? Is this something that you've always gone back to? A lot of artists have tried other things and for some reason have come back to this. Um, so there is an underlying thread that um, joins us all. Um, there's something about fiber that is very nurturing, comforting. Um, it is our second skin. It, it, drapes and swaddles us as children, and it holds us um, in that final journey. Um, we adorn our coffins with cloth. So from birth to death, fiber is always a part of our lives, and it's an, it's an important part of our life and should be celebrated. Thank you for joining us today to tour the Arden Thread and listen to curator Tony Williams talk about this exhibition. The show will be open to the public from Friday, July 17th through Saturday, September 5th. Our gallery hours are Wednesday through Friday from 10 to 4 p.m. and Saturdays from 12 to 4 p.m. Tune in again for Arden Thread Artist Talks taking place via Zoom on July 29th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. and August 26th where each artist will have a chance to speak more fully about their work. We also invite you to join us when Cynthia Lockhart presents a lecture on African American textile art on the afternoon of Saturday, August 15th. Please visit our website, www.artistarchives.org for more information on these upcoming events. Thank you to Tony Williams and all the contributing artists who made this beautiful show possible.